Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you saw my last video, you would see that I look exactly the same. And that's because I just filmed this look and I wanted to go ahead in the same day since why not? Want to film my everyday hair routine? I can do this in like 10 minutes even though I have like a lot of hair. It might not really seem like it, but like if you touch it. My hair is really fine, but I have a lot of it, so that's why it's kind of thick. So I thought, why not go ahead and show you how I also curl my hair since I was going to do that anyway. And yeah, they're really easy. I just go ahead and use a barrel wand, one inch um, size. I'm not touching it because it's on. And it's just from Yumi. I got it a couple years back when they did like a bundle set where it's um, this headpiece along with two other ones. So like a half an inch one. And I believe it, there's actually one that's bigger than this, but if I use a bigger one, it's not really going to give me the curls I want. And it also came with a hair strainer, so I got all of that for, I believe, like 80 bucks, which is a really good deal. So if you want to go ahead, I think Numi always has, like, sales going on. So check out their website, and maybe you might get the same, like, bundle deal for that amount. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and see how I curl my hair, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I go ahead and get, like, my, my wet brush. Obviously, you can use it when you have dry hair, but, and I'm just going to go ahead and, like, brush my hair. Okay, so after you've curled your hair and everything is nice and smooth, there are times where I go ahead and section it off. If I'm going to section it off, I section only two, like, two ways. I'll start from up here and the middle and that's it. There are other times like if I'm more in a hurry or whatnot that I'll literally just put like split my hair into two and then go ahead and start like grabbing pieces from the back, curling it, throwing it back and whatnot. But just for like the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how I do a section just because if you see me just split my hair in the middle and curl it, I feel like, sorry my phone. Just because like I was saying, if you split it in the middle and just start curling it from the back and putting it um. And like flipping it backwards, I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose. But you can totally do that if you want. I do it all the time when I'm in a hurry. So I'm going to go like... You know how like your eyebrows have an arch? So I'm going to go right in the arch and just section it off. Kind of like that. So if I look this way, it's because my mirror is right there. Very small section. Um, Nothing too crazy. And then you should be left with still a lot of your hair. But at this time, I'm going to go right here, like right above your ears, and part that section off. So it should look like a little ponytail. Like that. Okay, so now what I'm left off is just like literally this little piece. So I go ahead and brush it one more time. I would say with this, I'll split that into four different pieces of hair and you're good to go. So yeah, I like to do my curls away from my face. Some people like to alternate doing like away and then towards the face or some people just like it towards the face. But I find it easier just to do it away. All the curls could look like kind of like a blowout. So I'm going to turn. So this is my first section piece of hair. I go ahead and grab the barrel. And this is the, the back of the hair, and then this is obviously the front. So I'm going to get it and put it in the back, and just literally twist it. I'm not, like, making sure the hair is in any specific, like, flat form or twisted form. I literally just go along with it. And once it looks like this, I keep it for about 7 seconds, hold it in the palm of my hand, and throw it back. So, it's probably been on for, like, 5, so, I don't know. I sometimes touch it too and I go crazy over myself. But 7 to 10 seconds should be more than enough depending on how much hair. And then I just literally drop it to the palm. And this is the curl. Super easy. I just go ahead and then flip it back. So then I go ahead and grab another piece. If you grab a thicker piece of hair or like more piece of hair, your curls will be more, I want to say like loose and beachy. Even though this is going to be a beachy look as well. But I feel like the more hair you grab, I feel like it's more prone to not holding. And it'll um, just fall out really easily. Especially if you live in a place where it's super humid like I do. It literally won't last me. 
So I go ahead and I get, I want to say one inch sections of hair, maybe even one and a half. So again, grab hair, bear one back, this is forward, this is back. Twist it, and then I just pull up, twist it, hold it for about 10 seconds. And release. I like to hold it in my hand just so that he could kind of so that he could kind of like stay and the hair gets warm. That way the curl will hold more. And then I drop it and that's my curl. away curls I like to put my curls like away and then they just look like that like really beachy I'm gonna fast forward it so now you put some music on okay and I'll be right back on this side I only did three strands I guess like when I pulled it in the middle I got a little bit more hair on this side than this side but basically it was the same thing behind curl um hold it in the hand when you release and then throw it back so this is how it's looking so far there are just slight curls so then the middle clip that I've done I like to put my hair in the front and then when I release the clip I look crazy right now when I release the clip I just go ahead and split that part in the middle the same way how I did in the bottom so these are my two hold it throw these in the back and then brush them out so now when I get to the middle part you'll see that there's more hair starting from here so I like to start from the back end curl them and then keep going forward and forward and forward so So now I'm gonna go to the top. Remember before we take it off, I'm gonna put it back on to put your hair in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and section it the way I want it. So I'll just sorry, I look crazy, I know. And and then of course just keep doing what we've been doing before, and we're almost done. I'm telling you, like this already. I'm putting a little bit more work into it and I'm explaining 
um, how it is. So I would say with my amount of hair, and my hair is pretty long, like it's up to here. Um, it takes 15 minutes, which is not bad at all. Minutes for my type of hair that's like very thick and like pretty long. I think it's not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section. The front piece is the one I like to break apart my curls a little bit more since it's like it is the front of my hair. end of my hair so right now they're looking like you know kind of separated so what I like to do is just basically shake it so they could like kind of fall and like blend in together especially the front but this is what is left if you want I go ahead and usually brush the top just so like you know very lightly I don't like to brush it completely out and these are how the curls come out just I kind of like to finger comb them see super simple curls they're very really beachy really formal as well sorry I was like moving a lot to try to show you guys but this is basically how I like to do them um super simple I like to do them away from my face so it's like all going like this way you can part your hair however you'd like I kind of do my more towards a middle part. So yeah guys, this is the end of this video. These are how the curls came out. I believe it was super easy. So I sectioned my hair into three sections as you saw. Um, the last one, like the most bottom one that we started off with first, I basically did know it was like four curls on this side, three on this side, depending on how much hair. And then the middle section is the one like where it had like the most amount of hair. So I believe I did between five to six little like pieces that I sectioned off and curled which is not bad at all and then the top you saw on this side I had a lot less I believe I did three I could have done two but like I said when it comes more to the front pieces I like to make the section smaller so the curls could be a little bit more tighter and then on this side I believe I did like four also um again I broke it down into smaller sections so the curls could be tighter and I know that they'll hold a lot more I've done this a million times this is my everyday curl routine like whenever I want to curl my hair I go ahead section off to three pieces or just put them all like in the middle and start from behind curl it do the same technique whichever way it's easier for you I think this way is more controlled so you do like your little sections curl it take it down section curl it and you're really like working your way up so yeah guys again this is a barrel from new me oh, let me just turn that off it's the medium size of the bundle that I got I love it. I've used it for years. It's what I do my hair whenever I have an event to go to or if I just simply want my hair curled. But yeah guys, I hope you really liked this video. I hope it was informative. I just wanted to share it with you guys a video that you could do really beautiful like I guess bombshell or even beach curls in 10-15 minutes max. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't so already. Be on the lookout for more videos, especially like more fall glam and Halloween tutorials because I'm really excited to do those. I'll be uploading two to three videos a week, so be on the lookout for those. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello. Hey, mama. Hey, Bob, what's up? Hey, what's up?